Hey everyone, today I wanted to go ahead and have a quick discussion with all of you regarding the fourth free title update, brand new monsters being added into Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, as well as pretty much all the brand new content that we ended up getting added in in the latest patch. I know a lot of people have been somewhat divisive on some of the changes and some of the new additions, and in this video I not only want to give my opinion on some of those things because I've not been able to give my opinion specifically on the new monsters, but also I want to hear everyone's feedback so do let me know in the comments what is your highlight a brand new addition for the fourth free title update, maybe a new feature that's been added, maybe a new tweak for your weapon, of course it could be one of the two monsters or anything along those lines. I also want to drop a very quick teaser for one of or at the very least two of my upcoming videos where we're going to be talking about the data mines, everything that has been found on the fourth free title update, pretty much the stuff that we can expect to be dropped in the fifth free title update. So a lot of the stuff has already been found. There are a lot of questions still up in the air regarding monsters. I want to tackle that. I am not interested in rushing out a video and just give out a bunch of hypotheses. That's not what my channel is all about. I like to give out either factual information from the stuff that's been found in the game or if it's just a straight up opinion video like this one therefore i can just freely give out my opinion so certainly i want to go over all the factual information that has been found so far in the next few days so for right now basically i want to start off kind of like talking about the two new monsters added in for the 4-3 title update of course volcana being the flagship quote unquote for this brand new update and i'm not necessarily too thrilled with it I was never too thrilled with Volcana to begin with as a fight in uh, World. I think in Iceborne, they tweaked that a little bit from what I gather, or at the very least, I slightly remember. I don't remember. I probably just fought it once and just kind of you know, gave up on that after a while. Um, but, uh, you know, I was never big to world on World or Iceborne to begin with. So Volcana's edition was originally cool to me, but then I think I see the changes that they did to it, and it just doesn't kind of live up to what it was in World. And I'm just kind of like underwhelmed by it. Nothing necessarily wrong about this monster to begin with. Just the fight itself feels slightly underwhelming. I have seen other people say the opposite though. They have been extremely excited to see it uh, being added in. I think people from World certainly like that version better. I probably would agree. But at the end of the day, when it comes to monster additions and this one being the flagship one for this update, I think it just ultimately felt underwhelming. And that is because in direct contrast to Risen Crimson Glow Valstrax, that thing is just amazing. That entire fight feels like you're just clutching to the controller. I remember I use a dual sense because I use a, a May Flash adapter on my Nintendo Switch. And this thing can pretty much one hit KO anyone at any given time or whenever the hell it feels like. It seems like it just has like no barriers to just kind of like doing whatever it wants. A lot of people have said that it feels cheap in that regard. I completely agree. But also that's what makes it fun. Also, you have to remember that a lot of people are just not necessarily prepared for this fight whatsoever. Um, maybe they're not upgrading their gear properly. Maybe they're not maxing out their armor. Maybe they're not drinking uh, potions properly. Certainly, I've seen a lot of people beeline. I, I think I made this argument originally, I think, with uh, Risen Teostra. I th maybe in that update, I made the same argument where people beeline to the monster, do not grab their, uh, gather spirit birds, and then you can easily sense that they're going to get carded before everyone else grabbed a couple of spirit birds. And then by the time that you got there, guess what? That person's already dead and one card's out the window, you know? It's always that one person that beelines to the monster that gets killed first. And I guess people haven't necessarily picked up on that. Since the launch day, I've done it multiple times now and I've seen it. Uh, you know, it is full power, I guess, if you will. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful fight. I, I, I can't say enough good things about Risen Crimson Glow Valstrax. I'm sure everyone's, you know, already seen the big dive from the sky, the, you know, it carpet bombs the entire field. It just, it just, it's just so menacing. So terrifying to fight. It will combo you in any way you want. It kind of hovers a little bit less than I probably would have hoped. I feel like normal uh, uh, Crimson Glow Valstrax hovers a little bit more when it's kind of just in this normal flying state. Where this one likes to zigzag back and forth. Um, you know, but still, it's just such a great fight. And easily the highlight of the update. And I think at the end of the day, the Risens are finally starting to show up. Because... 
Uh, when you move over to Anomaly Investigation A-Star Monsters and you see that Risen Teostra, Risen Camellios, and Risen Kushala de Aura are now part of A-Star Anomaly Investigations, these dudes are pretty menacing and because they have basically new attacks. They have new ways to be able to combo you. They feel more menacing. They already were, but now they feel even more menacing than before. And they're just, they just feel different. Um, and I like the addition, uh, the new tweaks and changes. It just goes to show, and I think I spoke about this in the most recent video that I put out talking about the higher difficulty, the hazard difficulty with uh, Lucent Nargakuga uh, being that brand new thing, which you're going to be talking about in a second. But um, the fact that they're adding new moves to already really difficult monsters and they're just tying them, locking them away to just a higher difficulty tier, I find that fascinating. The fact that they're catering, catering specifically to end game players. This is not content, you know, people who are choosing to jump into Rise or Sunbreak early on are going to be able to get to. This is stuff that's clearly tailored for people who have been putting the time, you have been putting in the effort. These monsters are a menace and therefore you are being rewarded for fighting them at their fullest power. And I really love that, the way that they're handling that. Um, how long they're willing to go with that, we'll have to wait and see. I'm sure there's going to be more of this on the next free title update now i think one of the disappointing ones has probably been um uh, anomaly investigation chaotic gore magala it just kind of feels a little bit underwhelming to me maybe it's just because the reasons for anomaly investigations are just so fun but this one just kind of felt you know like it didn't necessarily live up uh to the expectations now normal chaotic gore magala is a fun fight i have no problems with it uh, but the Anomaly Investigation version of them kind of just felt a little bit underwhelming to me. But, you know, I'm not saying that it was easy. That's not... A lot of people always misconstrued when I say underwhelming to mean easy because I'm a gunner. That's not what I'm saying. Underwhelming just means, like, I was expecting a little bit more, maybe a little bit of a tougher fight, a tougher encounter. But it just never really showed up. And, you know, that monster is good enough as is. Anomaly Investigation, a little underwhelming, but, um, you know... Not a big deal at the end of the day. Now, I do want to quickly speak upon, just kind of like touch upon, if you didn't watch that video, link in the description below for me talking about the hazards, uh, introduction of brand new difficulty. So this is basically uh, Capcom's new tier of event quest that I presume that they're going to be adding in for the next free title update as well, where we are now having access to, uh, as of right now, hazard uh, losing Narga Kuga and presumably Violet Mitsuzune will be added in at a later date. And based on some of the data mines, I'm going to be speaking about this in the future as well. Flaming Espinas is also going to have this uh, brand new version tier uh, kind of added in. Essentially, these dudes are just harder to hit, harder to deal with, higher health, higher resistances, higher damage, the works. Um, they are the equivalent, if not stronger than Anomaly Investigation versions of themselves. It's going to be interesting to kind of compare uh, Hazard Flaming Espinas to Anomaly Investigation Flaming Espinas. I certainly want to put out a little bit of a comparison video uh, once that is fully released in the next free title update. Because it's going to be interesting to see just how much of a challenge the new Hazard version of Flaming Espinas will be. As opposed to uh, Violet Mitsuzune and Lucian Nogokugo who simply just don't have an Anomaly Investigation version of themselves because they are locked into the arena. I kind of hoped Capcom would change that going into the future, maybe for this update, maybe for the next one. But as of right now, that has not happened. So that new tier of like difficulty uh, quest is a really, really good challenge. If you haven't necessarily done that already, all you have to do is take down Lucent, uh, sorry, uh, Volcana, and you should be able to have access to Lucent Narguga in that brand new hazard difficulty. Another thing I want to quickly touch upon is uh, the new weapon crafting tier that was added basically giving every weapon another booster i put up a video on that as well i touch upon all the basic upgrades and of course it gives brand new combinations to your weapons as well so you can max out max them out different ways for you to max out your damage at the same time if you're willing to go through the curious crafting roulette uh, there's basically i think four to six new skills that can be found in that as well i certainly wanted to put out a video on that but i don't have a full complete list on that so i'm probably going to talk to someone try to make sure that i get the full complete list 
on which skills are now available that simply weren't available before through the um, uh, Curious Crafting Roulette. So we can go ahead and get a definitive uh, list of all those skills if someone hasn't necessarily done that already. I'm sure someone has. I just haven't paid attention to that just yet. So there's a lot of good things in this update. I'm a big fan of it. I think that, you know, I, Sheriff Volcano was a little bit underwhelming, but the Risen's really has stepped up to their, you know, full glory. The next update will have one more. We know that. And maybe the reveal of the next update will go a long way to kind of keep people's excitement. I've seen some hot take videos out there already where people are comparing, you know, Wild Hearts to be the full on replacement of Sunbreak. Look, I've been proponent of a Wild Hearts since it was revealed. Um, don't tell me that that game is going to replace Sunbreak. This is not happening. I understand people need uh, the desperate comparisons, I guess, to just kind of have hot takes out there. But, you know, you're not Stephen A. Smith, so you probably shouldn't be trying that, you know. But that's just my opinion on that matter. And Wild Hearts is fun. I've been a little bit on Xbox, but, you know, it's not replacing Sunbreak anytime soon. So those are my opinions regarding the 4-3 title update. I'm not even going to touch upon that paid DLC. I saw a lot of people kind of just memeing it. I've seen Japanese players buying it, which is really funny. I don't know if Western players have, but certainly I've seen a lot of players with Japanese names purchase that weird paid cartoonish looking DLC. So it certainly caters to a specific audience and Capcom knows how to get money out of people. But I certainly want to hear your guys' opinions on what is your favorite feature, newest edition, new monster, whatever on the 4-3 title update. Certainly want to read the comments and I look forward to hear everyone's opinions. If you're brand new to my channel though, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!